video as well. I did the cleanup work uh, last week and had all this um, trailer full of old office stuff, including this old server. Obviously, all the proprietary data, hard drives, and whatnot has all been taken off for a reason. So it's uh, pretty much ready to go on a tip. They said I could have it. Now, Altos G330M Mark II. The case is nice. But if I could put, put this uh, boot off this disc here, Windows 7, just to see if this board can actually run Windows 7. They had server 2003 on there, being a server, it's pretty limited to what I could do with it. The Xeon processor, tape drive, a good DVD label order. Got the um, 320 gigabyte hard drive I put in there, that's my one. That's got my music on it, I got a couple, I got that, back up on that, I got the music off that all on that one. And the music off that one's backed up on my 4 terabyte hard drive and the other computer, so I won't matter if I like that drive. That drive's um, it's a Chinese made Seagate Barracuda. It's got a couple of bad sectors, so it goes clunk every now and then. So it's got a 350 watt power supply. It's a server, it's not meant for anything gaming or anything. It's pretty limited to what I could do with it, but it's a scroll around thing. Yeah, it's not too bad. As I said, all the proprietary stuff's gone. It's deleted out of it. There's nothing proprietary on this thing. It's got a USB to SATA converter on the sitting under this hard drive here. It's a gigabyte board. Model GA5DXSLRH. I was expecting a generic a Acer board, but no, it's a gigabyte board. I did like this, so it's all toolless. It's got a little adapter here for SSD in there if I wanted to put one in there. Four gigabytes of uh, this a DDR. Could be, D I think it's DDR RAM. Yeah, with DDR, I think. But it's 2008 to date in um, BIOS, so it could be DDR2. Early DDR2. Basic, basic, this basic, the basic you can get. Being a server, you don't get much. All it's going to do is uh, connect to the network, and that's it. It's not meant for gaming or anything. So we'll see, we'll see what this thing can do for home use. I might just uh, make an NAS um, server out of it, just for shits and giggles. I do like the case though, it's quite robust. So if it does t t not work out, I get a good case, maybe to uh, put a good board and stuff in. Because it's all toolless. I quite like that. Anyway, let's see if it actually does support Windows 7 or not. Just as a, just for laughs, eh? Why not? Be rude not to, as a uh, Photon would say. <laughs> hmm, any ideas what I could do with this thing? I don't know if they'll support multiple arcade machine emulation. It could. I could use it as an, um, a server just for um, arcade gaming. I could just stick it in the office, plug it in the router there, and just connect to it via these computers, any of these, and the other computers. I reckon I just load the program off, off this server, and this would be just a main arcade gaming server. Well, the sound, it would have to feed, feed the sound and all that sort of stuff. The graphical part of it would have to be done on these, though. Yeah, obviously that's, that wouldn't support very good graphics. It'd be basic graphics support once integrated on that board. No onboard sound, just a uh, system, a uh, piezo buzzer on the motherboard. No sound, obviously. So, it does have a lot of limitations because it's only a server. But, I wonder if it can run main games on this thing. And emulation. Hmm. I wonder. Anyway, for NAS then, we'll see how it goes. Could have a go at a free NAS. I know a lot of people have done it, but uh, I must have a go at it myself. Just for um, laughs, eh? Almost there. Bit dusted, took it outside and gave it a good blow of compressed air. But it's better than going to the tip, it's quite a nice case. It'd be a waste to throw this thing in the tip. All toolless. So I can need the drive bay adapter, it adapts it down to three and a half inch, so that's all built in. I'll have to stick the hard drive in there too when it's all done, when I get it all set up. Probably won't be able to uh, just won't be able to um, use a product key or anything on this Windows uh, disk because that's a Windows disk off that one. Just put it on here, see if this runs it. If it does, if it doesn't, we'll see what happens. But if it does uh, run on this thing, I'll have to um, try uh, I don't think this product key is going to work. No, that's not the right product key. That's for the other operating system. Yeah. I won't activate it for now, just see if it runs it. I'll have to find another product key for it so it works on this one. 
Otherwise, I'll cause uh, confusion between that one and this one now. I don't want to do that. Anyway. Well, 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 it is pants one. But that's because of the, I haven't got the graphics. I wonder, I wonder, I think it may support this NVIDIA GeForce. Um, is it GeForce 6600, the model is? I think it may support this. It doesn't have an external um, power requirement, so I think I could be right. But if I install this and get the drivers on, I reckon I can bring that up quite, quite a bit more. It's actually not too bad, because the calculations per second on the process is 7.1. The RAM is pretty good. 5.7 the hard drive, you know, it can't spin fast enough physically. That's not so bad, but that's because I haven't got this onboard graphics. It's not meant for anything but basic, basic stuff. So that's fair enough, getting that score. So if I install that, download the drivers, because I can't find the um, installation CD for that. That's a 2005 vintage, that one. So hey, 52nd week of 2004, it's older. So it does have HDTV out and everything. It's quite a nice card. Um, I, I, that does run Half-Life 2, but if I put it at its maximum settings, it is a lot of lag. It barely ran it at its full settings. So that is the minimum requirement to run Half-Life 2, that graphics card. I couldn't run it anything over, um, uh, it's, I think it was medium settings in the game. It did, I think it, oh, I can't remember now. The frames per second, I think it maxed out at about 25 or 30 frames per second with maximum settings on when I did the uh, stress test on this thing. 105 degrees Celsius for the Nippon Chemicon caps. Caps on caps. Oh, seem to be 105 degrees Celsius for the two. So let's install this. It does have PCI Express and all that there. I can just plug it in and it has a low power requirement, so let's uh, switch off, plug it in, and see what happens. If I can um, activate this thing. Ooh. Yeah. What would happen if I put the product key if that one on this one? Would that make this an area obsolete or what? I don't want to um, cause any confusion here between windows and stuff, because I might render this one un unupdatable. I don't want to do that. Um, yeah. There's another product key for this one. This might not be so bad. Alright, let's uh, switch off. Now put this card in. Yeah, just put the basic, basic updates off that disc when I built that one. Anyway. Alright, I got the hard drive installed. I just bent the, uh, there was a tab in there, which is a backstop. I pushed the floppy disk in, and that was a backstop. It stops the floppy disk going in too far. I bent that back with a pair of pliers. That allowed me to slide the hard drive in through this way and lock, lock it into position. Look at that, perfect. I like this side of the USB converter there. That's kind of cool. Yeah. And these bolts are cool too. If I can get there. I got the graphics card installed. It's a lot of PCI Express for that card, PCI Express 1. So obviously it's a... It should run now, it's got to um, download some drivers. All I need now to make this thing actually work properly, that is, is a sound card. Which I don't have any sound cards. I've never ever bought one. At all, with any of my computers I've had. So I need a sound card for PCI Express 1 that can work with this Windows operating system on this computer. So, I don't know if you can buy PCI Express 1 sound cards anymore, but if anyone's got one that can work with this computer, let me know. I reckon I could uh, make a bit of use out of this thing. This thing may still be quite usable. Anyway, one, two, three. And another fan underneath that side as I could use. So I got that hard drive there. I could put more on here, but I don't have a caddy for it. If I can get a caddy for this thing, that'd be good. Anyway, that'd be enough for now. Just gonna download some drivers, get the graphics card going. I reckon I can get the um, experience index a bit higher in the ratings yet. Thanks for watching.